So this is a interesting post of IC Pi, who I believe is EA, and I'm pretty sure I've text messaged him at least under EA. Uh, he's had various usernames before, but EA is the one I most remember, and I believe he's also the crime piece gentleman or the crime piece crime timepiece gentleman on YouTube. So I'm just gonna read you the post and we'll talk about it. Anthony threatened to hire a hitman on Darby. Pretty sure I mentioned this in some form in the past, given that Anthony is returning to YouTube, I want to get this on record. During the period that Anthony was posting those solo videos himself, where he filmed five of them, he was trying to get Darby to come back and film for him. Darby told Anthony that he was not interested. Anthony then began to send physical threats to Darby and was saying that he would hire a hitman to have Darby blanked. I'm sure Anthony will deny this, but it's 100% true. If you remember from the police reports I posted, so yeah, that's probably EA, that's probably EA. In the past, Anthony also threatened to blank his own fodder with a knife he had in his hand. This was after he beat the blank out of his sister, who was a minor. Guys, absolute trash. If anyone decides to work for this loser for YouTube views, they deserve to lose business and whatever they do. So let's talk about whether or not I think... So there's a kind of um, a little bit of different scenario. <laughs> this is pretty funny. Liz is too big of a guy. It's just not a fair fight. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny, right? Was this from your conversation with Darby? Yes. What convo with Darby? I must have missed it. Uh, was the Hitman the Leon cosplayer actor, though? Yeah, the we-need-to-talk dude. I had no idea that such behavior would come as surprise to Darbs, though. Darbs should just preempt and release the video of Tony doing blank shit. Uh, they kind of mentioned Anthony in their last video talking about how one guy caused so many problems for the industry. So, okay. This is my perspective of it. I think Liz and Darby, they love drama. In a, would I, could I imagine it happening? Yes. Do I think it's likely? No. Um, and the main reason is Liz and Darby are not, how can I put this? They're overly dramatic many times. They want the nicest home and the nicest food and the nicest Mercedes Benz and the nicest watches. And they are... I, could I see a scenario where Anthony believes that Liz and Darby are his actual friends and not moochers living off him and therefore he's confused why his quote actual real ride or die friends are not willing to ride or die for him 1000%. When I mean 1000% I mean I think that is what happened. Um, I will be 100% honest with you. No idea. But that's what I believe, is that that scenario does sound realistic. Uh, and maybe Anthony in the moment of, you know, in his anger, because he thought they were his real friends. They were not. They were never his real friends. Neither was Jimmy. Like, real friends don't treat you this way. They don't. They don't treat you like garbage as soon as you don't have money to pay them. They want to help you. They volunteer to do daily videos. They... Um, there's that clip where Anthony's like, hey, business is not going well. I'm brainstorming some ideas. Darby, why don't we do daily videos again? Darby's like, oh, no, no, no. He, he had a million different excuses why not. He couldn't do it. That is not a ride or die friend. Uh, that is somebody who is a moocher. So my, you know, it, it's, it's hard to kind of say who's worse off, right? Definitely Anthony is a worse person. But Liz and Darby are not angels themselves. So could I see them fabricating something like this? Yes. Could I see Anthony doing something like this? Yes. The question really comes down to who do you believe more? And people say, oh, Anthony's a known psychopathic lie. And I agree, I agree. But in this context, if you just follow the money, I could see a scenario where Anthony is offended that they are not giving him free work. That That's basically what he wanted, right? That's why Brian lived with him. And when, when after working hours, 
Anthony said, hey, Brian, we're going to Las Vegas. Get in. And Brian said, no, I got another part-time job. He was super offended. And now Liz and Darby kind of defended Brian because they probably had part-time jobs as well that Anthony didn't know about. And that was that. I mean, at the end of the day, it is very clear that um, Los Angeles is a very expensive place to live. It is you got to make money or get out. And they were in that very difficult position. Anthony was not helping them make money. And therefore, they had to get out. Um, it does, uh, it does, in my opinion, show you don't know who your real friends are until you need them. And I'm positive Anthony is absolutely not, you know, uh, Liz and Darby mentioned him in a few times in their latest video. I bet he was going nuts in the little apartment he is in. I saw he announced his YouTube return and then followed it up with the first video will launch December 1st. What the blank? Yeah, he could OD or be in jail before then. Wonder why it's going to take him until December. Darby's Baird can self-defend if things get really hairy. He is all talk. Uh, they're all flipping, scamming. Scum. So my, my my understanding is I, I kind of get what he's thinking. He's thinking these people are my real friends. They couldn't possibly abandon me, right? Oh, they did. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen a sadder friendship or relationship than Liz and Darby with Anthony. It's uh, give, 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 take, 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 take. And the one time that you can give Anthony something back in return, editing his videos or whatnot. Um, hey, where's my, my where's my money, dude? Yeah, it's sad. It's not. It, I mean, I don't think anyone has any question at this point in time. Marco wasn't his real friend. Roman was not his real friend. Jimmy was not his real friend, and Liz and Darby were certainly not his real friends. Anyway. Hi guys.